Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 28th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at the last two days of imagery on our sun. Some pretty large plasma filaments stretching from the surface right now, both on the equatorial regions and as well in the north and south. So dynamics of our sun is changing right before our eyes. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming. Very tall, prominent structure. Off the surface there, big plasma filament and as well pretty sizable sunspot region turning in. Having a look at outgoing here, this is where we see the same thing. A very tall solar prominence swirling around the surface of our sun right now. That thing is massive. Having a look at multi-spectrum here, pointing out the last two days of events. No major solar events to talk about. Most notable are these plasma filaments that are dancing around the equatorial regions. Another large one there, and as well an earth-facing coronal hole. Having a look here at another light, just some amazing images there. Our only one M-class solar flare, and it was minor. Right now there are eight earth-facing sunspot regions, 12 on this disc right now. Nine of them, or eight of them, are earth-facing. Having a look here now at these regions in motion. Amazing to be able to see these sunspot regions interact with each other and grow. Current space weather conditions, we are under G2, minor geomagnetic storm impacts. And this was forecasted here with Daily Events Worldwide on the last video. KP index hopped up last night. Solar winds are coming in at 317 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see, a minor M-class solar flare and a couple strong C-class solar flares, but nothing major to report. Solar proton flux is low. Geomagnetic activity hopped up to a KP6 last night and into the morning today. Space weather prediction spiral is showing no new CMEs added to these models. Minor geomagnetic instability there into today. And as well, our next geomagnetic event, September 1st into the 2nd. ISWA Space Prediction Spiral here showing the most recent CME taking off in the outgoing position from the cresting limb. And that is visible here on Alaska 3. There's a one CME taking off from the south. And then there's that most recent CME taking off from the cresting limb. Amazing images here brought to you by NASA and SOHO, Solar Dynamics Observatory. Mixed here with daily events worldwide. And here is our most recent CME. Slow that down a little bit. Cosmic energy. Getting ready for the cosmic dance party here on Earth. Now let's get to earthquakes here. As most recently, we just did have our largest earthquake the last 24 hours. 6.1 magnitude earthquake, Libertad, El Salvador. As well, White City, New Mexico, seeing a 3.9 today. Largest across North American soil. No Notable earthquake swarms to talk about right now. Alaska, Sandpoint, Alaska, 4.8. Minor seismicity at the Hawaiian Island. And then our deepest earthquake the last 24 hours, 542 kilometer depth south of Fiji. And as well, notable earthquake here, 5.1 Kermadec Islands, south of the Kermadec Islands, way too close to the White Island volcano. Deep earthquake here, Papua New Guinea, 490 kilometer depths. Going to be watching for a volcanic eruption through the region and way too quiet through the Philippines right now. Notable earthquake here yesterday, 4.6 Mayotte. 
That's off the coast of Madagascar, a very large submarine volcano, as well as 5.1 magnitude Greece, South American plate, minor seismicity from Chile up to Peru. And that is the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Give you a quick glance at the last seven days for shakers, largest being the 6.9 earthquake that struck Tonga just a few days ago. Sizable earthquake today, El Salvador, 6.1. Notable activity, Portugal, and as well, Mayotte. And way too quiet, South America right now. And way too quiet, North American plate with these notable earthquakes, Alberta, Hawaii, and North. Now let's have a look at our air quality forecast brought to you by our 66 volcanoes erupting around the world. Very large plumes still coming out of Iceland from the Fagradis Valley volcano. And it is now encompassing the planet as it has swirled around the North Pole and it is now invading parts of Northern Canada. Having a look here, overlooking South America and Africa. No new major eruptions or new volcanoes to report today. Just some pretty nasty air quality is enveloping our planet right now. Cloud cover, sulfur dioxide emissions, particulates from the 66 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet, not to mention the wildfires that we've been dealing with. Our air quality is nasty. And the UV index is high with solar maximum 25. So please, everybody, stay safe and healthy. Now let's have a look at world weather here brought to you by windy.com. Big high pressure ridge moving in for most of eastern Canada. Large low pressure system brought some snow to the foothills of Calgary last night. And watch those systems join forces and head towards the Hudson Bay area. Parts of northern Quebec for the long range. And then some extreme weather building in in a very cool high pressure ridge moving in for the long range and things are shifting along the west coast some big systems heading into the first week of september will be making landfall northern bc coastline overlooking europe and africa some extreme weather brewing all across central africa high pressure ridge building in for europe until about the first and then that's when you'll see your next system come in Overlooking Southeast Asia, South Indian Ocean. Notable systems grinding on both coasts of India. And as well, typhoon that is still forecast to inundate Japan. Long range forecast shows another one developing for the long range. Overlooking Australia, New Zealand. In the Central Pacific, some strong systems south of Australia set to bring in lots of moisture towards New Zealand and a lot of snow. That's right. A lot of snow will be coming with these very cool temperatures still swirling around the southern hemisphere right now. Long range, big, windy and rainy systems affecting Tasmania. Now let's have a look at where snow is falling right now as snow did fall across the foothills of Alberta last night, dropping about 25 centimeters in some areas. And that makes for some early ski resorts opening up. And it also gives us a sign of what 2025 winter will be about. Having a look at New Zealand, as you can see over the next few days, snow is going to be piling up up to 100 centimeters in higher elevations. And then overlooking Alaska and Northern BC, it's a coming, folks. Stay prepped, stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily do. Bye bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.